It's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed up. So like a donkey. Yeehaw, okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, February 15th goes to former National Security Advisor of the United States of America, Michael Flynn. One of our celebrity in chief's top advisors. If you haven't heard, after only three weeks, Michael Flynn has resigned as National Security Advisor. Uh, the resignation comes after previous disclosures that Michael Flynn had misled. That's a nice word for lie lied to Vice President Mike Pence and other senior officials about his communication with the Russian ambassador of the United States, whose name I can't pronounce, so I won't even attempt it. Okay, Michael Flynn says in his resignation letter, unfortunately, because of the fast pace of events, I inadvertently briefed the Vice President-elect and others with incomplete information regarding my phone calls with the Russian ambassador. Just a bunch of, bunch of fancy words to say I lied. Okay, Michael Flynn continues, I have sincerely apologized to the president and the vice president, and they have accepted my apology. Now, Flynn's discussions with the Russian ambassador has raised the possible breach of the Logan Act. Has nothing to do with Wolverine. Uh, 1799 law that bars unauthorized citizens from negotiating with foreign governments and top advisors uh, concluded that this concluded that Michael Flynn's position had become unsustainable because he had lied to the president and the vice president. Now, the Trump administration had, had been warned a month ago about Michael Flynn's BS, but in true Trump administration fashion, uh, I guess they ignored it for the most part. And Kellyanne Conway went on the Today Show with Matt Lauer to do what this administration does best, and that's lie some more. Let's hear it. Flynn had decided it was best to resign. He knew he'd become a lightning rod. And he, they even went further to say that as a result of that dishonesty, he was at risk for blackmailing by the Russians. But the fact is that General Flynn continued in that position and was in the presidential daily briefings, was part of the leader calls as recently as yesterday, was there for the prime minister's visit from Canada yesterday. And uh, as time wore on, obviously the situation had become unsustainable. Kelly, and that, that, Gen General Flynn... That makes no sense. Last month, the Justice Department warned the White House that General Flynn had misled them. Drop on a clues, boss, for Matt Lauer. Shutting that nonsense down. Michael Flynn lied to Mike Pence and Donald Trump. Kellyanne Conway said he resigned because he'd become too much of a lightning rod. No, he resigned because he's a lying rod. Now, Michael Flynn is not only a liar, he's a hypocrite because during the July 2016 Republican National Convention, Michael Flynn joined the crowd when they started to chant, lock her up, in reference to Hillary Clinton, who was also accused of putting the security of the country at stake by using a private email server. Can we flash back to that, please? We do not need a reckless president who believes she is above the law. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I have called on Hillary Clinton to drop out of the race because she put our nation's security at extremely high risk. Jesus. If I did a tenth, a tenth of what she did, I would be in jail today. So by Michael Flynn's logic, he should be in jail. I went left. Because you put the security of the country at risk the same way. Uh, see, here's the thing. All humans make mistakes. We can all be hypocrites at times, but you can't under any circumstances slander somebody to the levels Michael Flynn did Hillary Clinton and turn around and do the same damn thing six months later. You called for Hillary to drop out the race, but you actually had to resign. So at least you practice what you preach in that regard. But you said you would be locked up if you did a tiff of what Hillary did. Well, Michael Flynn, let's add this up. You have potentially violated some federal law. Uh, you're in cahoots with the Russians. You had a hand in tampering with this year's presidential. Well, the Russians had a hand allegedly in tampering with this year's presidential elections. You lied to the celebrity in chief and his vice president. I only have a high school diploma that I got in night school, but this sounds like more than a tenth to me of something. Okay, so when can we expect you to turn yourself into proper authorities, Michael Flynn? One of my favorite quotes ever describes Michael Flynn to a T. The only thing worse than a liar is a liar who is also a hypocrite. Please give Michael Flynn the biggest hee haw, please. That's definitely more than a tenth. He definitely did more than a tenth for something. Well, That's now true. that the tables are turned, let's see if he would do justice to himself the same way he would have did to Hillary Clinton. Well, he called for he Hillary. should put himself in jail. Yeah, he called for Hillary to drop out the race. Uh, she didn't, but he did resign. So clearly he took his own advice in that regard. But now, let's see if you lock yourself up, Michael Flynn. Go turn yourself into the authorities. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. <laughs>